first thing that you want to do before attempting any type of server reset or server restore is to back up all of your data. I just added an external hard drive. I'm going to add this drive to my pool as a backup. Use this hard drive to back up files that are stored on your server. You don't want to add it to the storage pool. I'm going to format the hard drive, which is already blank. I'm going to leave the title, and I'm going to go through and prepare the drive for server. Now, once this is done, what you want to do is you want to back up two parts. First of all, you want to back up all of your data, which is a given. And second of all, you want to back up your backup database. And I'll show you that in two parts. So now that I'm done, I'm going to go through under computers and backups. I'm going to back up now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change every single one of these to the drive that's installed. Now, typically, I would not install the backup and back up my recorded TV, for example, which is 138 gigabytes. And I would not back up my videos, which is 276 gigabytes. Typically, because I already have those on DVD or I have those on another computer stored. But because I'm doing a server reset coming up, I'm going to back up everything. So this should take about an hour or so to back up. And we'll continue on with the next part of the video when I get back. The backup's just finishing up now. It took about four and a half hours, uh, about 464 gigabytes, as you can see. So roughly about 100 gigabytes an hour. So you may want to plan on that. This is just a standard USB drive, uh, HB one terabyte drive. So. Not slow, not fast, just a standard drive. So figure about 100 gigabytes an hour directly connected to your HP MediaSmart server. It's now completed. Now what we're going to do is go in and copy the backup database. Now that I've backed up the data, I'm going to back up the backup database. I go to Settings. I go to WHS BDVB. Again, this is an add-in, and we have information on using WindowsHomeServer.com to find the add-in and how it works. I'm going to click on Backup. I'm going to choose the backup target, which is my one terabyte backup drive, and I'm going to click on Create. Now what this does is it goes and backs up all of the computer backups that are stored on the server. What that means is, is that you can see on the left-hand side, I have Seton, Delio 2, Dell 15, et cetera, et cetera. When those are backed up, they're stored on a part of your Windows Home Server. And this system will automatically back that up onto the drive. Now, it seems a little redundant, especially since I'm just doing a server restore. But I don't want to take any chances. So again, I'm going to use the WHBDBB. And I'm going to back up everything. So basically, this is an entire backup of my entire server between the database and the data. OK, the 152 gigabyte backup database started at 240 and it just now finished at 406. So it took an you know, hour and a half or so, about the same thing, averaging about one gigabyte per minute. We'll go through now and we'll get ready to start.